Okay, so different attacks have different hit properties in the game. Um, there's also counter hits in the game, which is essentially if you get hit by an attack um, while you're... So basically, if you do an attack and it's starting up, and that attack is hit out of its startup, the person who hit you out of your startup will be rewarded with a counter hit. And counter hits will uh, offer more hit stun, which means that you'll be, you'll be stunned for a longer amount of time after being hit. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it just generally makes things easier to combo off of. So this move, 236K, Bandit Bringer. Uh, if you hit someone with it, that's what it does. But if you hit them on counter hit, so say I did this and then Kai pressed a button and it counter hit him, it bounced him up way higher and he's closer to me, so it's easier for me to get a line, like hit a button and jump cancel into some combos, right? Like that's crazy how much time it gives me. Uh, same with like uh, this move, tumbles him a bit, but on counter hit, they tumble even more. Uh, some moves will change. Uh, same with like if this right here hits them, that's but with counter hit it actually launches them. So yeah, and um, there's a few things that can happen to you with some moves regardless of counter hit or not. Uh, like some moves have what's called a stagger. So um, with uh, this move here with Kai is um, two three six D. It puts you in a stagger, and the game is basically telling you to mash in order to reduce the amount of hit stun that, that it has. So if Kai does this, he can run up and hit a button, and see how it says 2 beat and it's gray? The reason why it says that is it's saying it's not a real combo because you could have mashed out of it and blocked that. Oh, I didn't mash fast enough. Oof. Was... Alright, that's enough. So see, I was able to block it. So if you get hit with something that staggers, you want to make sure that you're mashing uh, enough to where you can you can actually block it. Uh, some some uh, other attack properties that can happen is a tumble. So uh, this also happens when you hit someone with 5D and walk forward. Um, if you're not near the corner, it hits them with a tumble. When they're in a tumble, you can you can pretty much uh, combo off them however you want. So they're completely vulnerable when they're tumbling. Uh, another thing is a wall stick. So some moves will cause a wall stick. So an example is Blitz. And they're considered airborne and vulnerable. So when they're right there, you kind of want to treat them as if they're floating in midair. Um, and it's the same thing with the, the tumble too. So you notice when I hit him, he's not standing. He like floats into the air. So you want to treat them like, imagine he's like airborne in both of these situations. So whether it's a tumble right here, or a wall stick, or um, a move that launches. So different moves will have different properties. Sometimes some moves don't normally tumble, but on counter hit they do. Sometimes some moves don't normally wall stick, but on counter hit they do. Sometimes some moves they don't wall stick unless you hit them in the corner. Like, uh, whoops. Uh, like this, sends them flying, but in the corner, it wall sticks. So just knowing these properties exist and um, how to take advantage of them is important. It's going to be character specific, but I just want you to know that stagger, uh, wall stick, launching people into the air, uh, counter hits, and just all those different properties that your move get do exist. If you take too much damage in Guilty Gear, um, you'll actually get stunned. Well, not specifically if you take too much damage, but if you just get, if you, get, it's just like Street Fighter. If you get fucked up too much over a short period of time, uh, you'll end up getting stunned. So I'll see if I can get it to happen. I don't know if training mode is going to be on its bullshit, but I don't think so. Maybe? So I feel like, there we go. And then they have to mash to get out of it. Once they're in this state, uh, they can't do anything. They're forced to take the next hit. And you can be stunned mid-combo. So you could be comboing someone, and then they could get stunned in the air. Now, unlike Street Fighter, if they get stunned in mid-air in an air combo, they won't just fall out of the combo and then you can get a free hit on them. That's how it works in a lot of other fighting games. In Guilty Gear, they'll actually continue to be getting comboed, but they can't tech. So we explained before that you can tech by um, by hitting a button as somebody drops a combo or as their combo is done, and you can tech in whichever directions that you want. Um, 
but you can't when you're stunned, so the opponent can actually combo you as if it was a gray beat, and then once you get up after that, you still can't move. So, <laughs> yeah, if you get if you get your ass whooped, just know that that can happen. Just just try and mash out as as best you can. When your health bar gets so low in the game, um, like to a certain point, uh, it yeah, you'll hear him say it's not over yet, and your health bar will start flashing. Uh, that means that you're in hellfire. Uh, when you're in Hellfire, your uh, <laughs> your super moves do a uh, shit ton more damage than they normally do. Uh, so yeah, I mean, don't give up and all that. Just wake up super is what the game's trying to tell you. If you press punch, kick, slash, and heavy slash all at the same time, um, you'll go into the instant kill mode, which will start depleting your meter. You can change in and out of the mode uh, whenever you want to. Um, it will... Your meter won't go back to what it was before, it's just because of the training mode that I did. So you see it depletes, but then when I stop it, my meter is basically empty. Uh, once you go into the instant kill mode, with every character, it's two quarter circles forward, or in the terminology the terminology we're learning here, it's uh, two, three, six. You just input two, three, six twice, and then heavy slash. And uh, when you do, the character will do an attack. And if the attack hits, it will instantly kill them. Uh, but if you miss it, you lose your tension gauge for the rest of the entire round. <laughs> um, so uh, it's not an invulnerable attack, and it's really slow. So it's you can't just like go up to somebody and do it in a real match. It's rarely going to hit. And you also can't combo into it except for very, very, very specific scenarios. Under certain circumstances, the game will allow you to. But otherwise, you can't. Um, so, but if you do hit them with it, it will immediately end the round and you'll, you'll win the round. Yeah, so if you want a quick way to make your opponent press start and restart the game, then there you go. Yeah, so one, so basically once you activate instant kill, it will deplete your meter all the way down. Um, once your meter has been depleted, it'll start depleting at your health. You can't kill yourself from depleting at your health, but it'll deplete down to uh, like the last sliver of health uh, until you finally decide to use it. But uh, if if in order to combo into it, because you can't combo into it, but you can if specifically it's match point for you. It doesn't have to be match point for you to instant kill someone. You can instant kill someone whenever, but to to combo into it. It has to be match point for you, and your opponent's health has to be, you have to have at least 50% tension, and your opponent's health has to be uh, below 20%, so they're in uh, Hellfire. It's so if, if they're in Hellfire, and then you'll see your tension gauge will start glowing gold, whereas before, it wasn't. So you see how right now it's, well, I mean, the bar is gold, but it's not glowing. Now if I go to 20% health, boom. So that means that I can combo into it, and it's different with each character. So like with Soul, if he does his command grab, R sees it. He can combo into it. Right? So, um, it's a good way to swag out on somebody, to disrespect someone and end around with it. It feels so good to do it. Uh, look up a specific way to do it with your character. Uh, it's not important. It's one of those things where it's, it's cool to know, but uh, fundamentals are much more important.